Hi, and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to take a detailed look at the interior of the all-new Renegade Verona. This particular coach has been quite a while in development, and I think Renegade's just really knocked it out of the park with this floor plan. It's just everybody that's looked at this coach just says, wow. Um, it has all the form and function that you'd look for in a 40-foot motorhome. It's easy to drive. So the first thing you'll notice when we start the tour here is that the Verona has the world famous Renegade boot step. And as you can see here on the video, you can store your shoes underneath the steps as you enter the coach. I think it's just a really nice feature to have as you enter the coach. If you've got muddy shoes, you can just kick them off and slide them right under the steps. Now we're gonna begin the process of kind of dissecting the coach area by area and talking a little bit as we go. As you can see, Renegade's done a great job of getting the color coordination down right on this coach. It just looks great. We're gonna start off here by showing you the convertible dinette. And when I say convertible, it just means that the dinette can be converted into a sleeping berth. Here you can see there's two large storage drawers underneath the dinette. Typically, you'd be storing extra cushions underneath there for when you convert this into a bed. It's really easy to slide this table down and convert this into a sleeping berth, as you can see here. As with all Renegade motorhomes, they do a great job of offering you different lighting elements so you can set the different moods inside the coach. Little things like this are just very important when you're out on the road and you're living in these things day in and day out to be able to have reading lights when you want them or when you're entertaining, you have a lot of lights, or to be able to turn them down when you're watching a movie. You know, we really try to extend the comforts of home when you're out on the road. Speaking of comforts of home, it's nice to have lots of storage when you're out on the road, so you can bring a lot of the things from your home with you as you travel. And Renegade's done an outstanding job of creating lots of storage room. Just here in the living room alone, on this side, there's nine different storage compartments, so you have lots of room to store things. Now as we move around to the living room of this coach, it, as one of our customers says, when you sit in here, you actually feel like you're in the living room of your home. Having an L-shaped couch, has, it's just really nice when you're sitting there talking to one another. It's, it's a, a real nice place to hang out. It's very easy to convert this thing when it's time to travel. You just move a few cushions and slide the L-shaped portion of the couch in. It's just as easy to pull it out when you get on uh, to your destination and you want to set up the couch. This sofa also converts into a real nice bed, as you can see here. The main function of this sofa is to have a nice uh, living room where you can hang out with your family and friends and watch a movie just works out very, very nice. You know, some of the things we talk about in these videos is life on the road, and it's very nice when you're traveling on the road to be able to have a 110 outlet right next to you on the sofa so you can plug your laptop in, or if you're playing with a PlayStation or something, you've got an, an extra power source. This coach is also equipped with floor level lighting which is really nice in the evening. You can just illuminate the floors if you have to get up in the middle of the night and you're not waking other people up. Renegade is just world renowned for their craftsmanship and their cabinetry. And when you get into the cabinetry of the Verona, they sure didn't uh, hold back anywhere. As you can see, this coach is equipped with full length pantry drawer slides on it. They have the soft close feature. This coach has solid maple cabinets. Um, it's stained in the Italia Sienna color. I think it just really looks fantastic. Here's the linen closet where we put a stacked washer and dryer. It's an option. You can either have the washer and dryer or you can just have this as a linen closet. The choice is yours. Now we're going to move around and talk a little bit about the entertainment center on this coach. We'll start off with the overhead cabinets. There's lots of storage up there for little miscellaneous items. This coach has a really big 42-inch uh, flat screen TV. It's a smart TV, so if you're in an area where you have Wi-Fi, you can use the Netflix or anything to be streaming over this television. Renegade's done a nice job of creating a little shelf here, a uh, cabinet where you can store DVDs and miscellaneous items. 
Over the top of the refrigerator here is where the AV components are housed, the audio visual, and it's where you turn the remote satellite on and off. Now we're going to move down and talk a little bit about the Samsung 18 cubic foot refrigerator. As you can see, this is a double door refrigerator. The lower portion is the freezer portion. It has a built-in ice maker. You can see the ice tray there on the left. I also want to point out that this refrigerator and freezer both have locks on them, so if you're traveling down the road, the doors aren't going to fly open on you. This coach is equipped with a 1.5 cubic foot microwave. This is a residential style microwave. You can see the solid surface countertop. This coach has a Natwood three burner stove. It's recessed so we can put these solid surface covers over it so you have a larger countertop when you're not cooking. Now as we move over to the sink area, this has a solid surface covers over the sink. It has a residential size uh, sprayer with a pull out nozzle on it. Now as we begin showing you all of the cabinets, it's not hard to see that there's tons of storage in this coach. Renegade Engineering's done a great job of listening to the customers and placing things where they'll be of the best value to the end user. Here's where the electrical cabinet is placed, so it's very easy to get to the fuses and switch panels in the event you ever need to get in there. Now we're going to move into the overhead compartments and over the driver and passenger side, these are just extra storage compartments. The center cabinet is where you house all the business end of the coach. Here's the digital thermostat for the air conditioning and the heaters. This coach is also equipped with heat pumps. And as I mentioned in every video, if you buy this coach or a Verona from us, we're gonna provide you with an iPad that has exclusive videos on it. So if you get out on the road and you forget how to program your thermostat, you can watch a real short video that we've produced and get you back on track on how to use your coach. Here's a close up of the coach control panel. The buttons along the bottom are to check the status of your propane, your gray tanks, your black tank, your fresh water tank, and then the battery conditions. This coach is equipped with 150 gallons of fresh water, which is just really unheard of in the RV industry to have that much water on board. Any of you that have ever RV'd know the importance of having fresh water and lots of it with you as you travel. The rest of the switches are pretty self-explanatory. You have the water pump for turning on the water pump in the coach. Storage lights, that turns the lights on in the underbody compartments on. You have heat strips on the holding tank so you can use this coach in the winter. You can choose either propane or electric for the water heater, which I really think is a great idea. And then you have the generator emergency start, so if the battery should ever go dead on the coach, you can push that e-start button and then reactivate it and it's going to connect the coach batteries to the truck batteries so it'll start and then you have your bedroom slide outs. Now we're going to move over to the generator controls and once again I'm going to remind you that when you buy a coach from IWS we're going to provide you with our IWS Advantage package. You're going to get an iPad with videos to show you how all the functions of this uh, control panel work and all the ins and outs of using your generator are going to be on that iPad. Now we're going to go over the hydraulic leveling system on this coach. This coach has hydraulic down and hydraulic up on the jack system, which is great. Some of the other coaches out there in the world, the manufacturers try to save a few bucks and they use jacks that are hydraulic down and spring return. The problem with that is if you ever push a jack through some soft soil, they may not retract. When you have hydraulic pressure down, you have thousands of pounds of pressure to push your jacks down, you have thousands of pounds of pressure to lift them back up. Leveling this coach is very easy. You just turn the power button on, hit auto level, and the coach will automatically level itself. It's just a really nice system. Now we're gonna talk about the auto gen start feature. And this controller here really does a wide array of functions. We can set this up so that your generator will stop or start at different times of the day. We can set it up so your generator will come on when you get a low voltage signal. 
We can turn it on depending on what the inside temperature of the coach is. I want to really assure you that if you buy a coach from IWS, we're going to spend all the time you need to make sure that you understand all this. And then if you should happen to forget it, we're going to have a private video that you can watch at any time that's going to show you all these functions. We have an exclusive 24 hour a day phone number that you can call one of us here at IWS and we're going to walk you through how to program something on your coach should you forget. Now we're going to work our way towards the back of the coach and this coach is a bath and a half coach and what that means is that there's a private toilet in the mid section of the coach and we're going to go in here right now and do our best to kind of show it to you and talk about it. Anybody that's been watching our videos knows that we're big fans of the macerator toilet. This is a full porcelain toilet with the macerator pump on it. And what that means is that there's a pump in there that grinds up and emulsifies all the waste products that go through it. There's also switches mounted on the wall. There's a high and low water setting for number one and number two. And then another neat feature of this is when you get ready to travel, if you push both of the flush buttons at once, it evacuates all the water in the toilet. You know, I hear on the internet people saying there's good and bad about them, but you know, we deal with people that live in luxury coaches day in and day out, and in my opinion, the macerator is the only way to go. Here's a nice shot of the medicine cabinet and vanity. You know, having a bath and a half is a really nice feature. Some people say it's a marriage saver. In the morning, each of you have your own place to brush your teeth. Somebody can be at the back of the coach in the rear bathroom using it. Somebody can be at the front of the coach using this bathroom. Not only is it a bath and a half, but it's very spacious. You know, I'm over six foot, and, um, over 200 pounds, and I fit in this room very nice. There's lots of room for me to move around, and it's just a great feature. Now we're going to go through the double sliding doors and move into the master bedroom and talk about it. This coach is equipped with a full king size bed. You can see there's nice nightstands on each side of the bed so you've got a place to put a water bottle. Here's a shot of the 150 gallons of water storage underneath of the bed. Renegade puts the water inside of the coach so you don't have to worry about it freezing in the winter. You can see there's a padded headboard. They've just done a really nice job in this master bedroom of making it spacious and very comfortable and very user friendly. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there's lots of storage in this coach. And it doesn't stop when we get into the bedroom here. You can see four nice large storage compartments over the top of the bed. As I mentioned earlier, there's lots of different lighting elements in this coach. Here you can see the overhead reading lamps. Little things like that can just make staying on the road so much more enjoyable. Now we're going to do our best to turn around and show you the closet space in this coach. The first thing we're going to do is open up these closed cabinets. And if you notice in the cabinet on the left, you can remove the floor out of it if you have long dresses so that your dresses can hang from the top cabinet to the bottom. It's also a great place to put a clothes hamper if you want. This coach is equipped with a 32 inch LG TV in the master bedroom. There's also a real nice window right here. So we have the blinds closed when we're filming to keep the sun from bouncing off the walls. But when you open up that window, the room really lights up. There's a nice counter here, so it's a nice place to set your, you know, your cell phone or your wallet or miscellaneous or a nice place for somebody to put their makeup on. There's also a Blu-ray player, DVD player. This coach is also set up for DirecTV or Dish Network. Here you can see the full-length drawer slides in the right-hand side of the closet. Here we are in the back bathroom and it's hard to show this on film, but we're gonna do our absolute best. You can see there's a one-piece shower here, has built-in shelves, so you got a place to put soap bottles and, and soaps and scrub brushes and what have you. Here's Marty in here kind of showing you the space you have with the overhead skylight. It gives you lots of room to shower. Here's the rear medicine cabinet and vanity. You can see there's great lights here in the back bathroom. There's also a nice uh, linen closet here, towel bar over the top of the toilet. 
The rear bathroom, just like the front bathroom, is equipped with the porcelain macerator toilet. There's also a nice little storage cabinet to the left of the toilet there. Here's our closing shot of the rear bathroom, and as you can see, the has a real nice sink and countertop in it. It's just a real nice bathroom. Now as we move up into the front of the coach, you can see there's a real nice privacy curtain that you can put up when you park. It's real easy to use this. You just slide the curtains around on the rail. We're gonna do our best here to pan around and kind of show you what it looks like in the cab area of this coach. This is a, all of the Veronas are built on a Freightliner M2106. And what the 106 designation means is that this is 106 inches from the back of the cab to the front bumper. As you can see here, all of the switches are very easy to reach, and a lot of the people really comment about how they like the fact that the driver and passenger are close enough together to carry on a normal conversation, and the passenger can reach down and control the stereo. You know, driving these things, you got a lot going on. It's nice when your passenger can lean over and run controls if they want to, and make them a part of the trip. The Verona is equipped with a Kenwood touchscreen stereo and navigation system. It has the Rand McNally RV maps in it, which is very useful. It also has the side view cameras that we're showing here, left and right, that turn on automatically with your turn signal. It also has a rear backup camera. Now we're gonna progress through the rest of the switches on the dash and talk about them individually. So the first switch we're gonna talk about is the fog lamps, and that obviously turns on your front fog lamps. The next two controls are left and right window up and down. Then you have mirror heat. Here is the door lock control switch. This yellow button is the parking brake button. This coach has air brakes on it, so when you get to your destination, you'll pull that button out and it'll apply the rear parking brakes. The next button over is the exhaust brake. Then there's a spare optional switch. Then you have the emissions regeneration switch. Here's the camera selector, so if you decide to hook a rear backup camera on your trailer, you can put this switch to trailer view. There's also a 12 volt power outlet. There's a cigarette lighter. And here we have the MP3 USB connection so you can play music through your Kenwood touchscreen. This is a very easy to drive and operate coach. All of the controls are easy to reach. All the gauges are easy to read. It has a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. There's a great field of view out of it. It has a 55 degree wheel cut on it. So turning is just, it's so easy to drive this coach. I, I, I just want to encourage each of you, if you've never driven one of these, to stop by and let us take you out for a test drive. I think you're going to be amazed. We've done our best to try to show you what this coach is all about. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call. I'd be glad to spend some time with you on the phone and help you understand the differences between one RV and another. And as always, thanks for your time, and I hope to see you soon.